Hi everyone, my name is Pei Jiang Wang. I am a junior student majoring in biomedical engineering. I work with Professor Jen Huggins in Direct Brain Interface project this summer. My project is to analyze the effects of target locations on P300 based BCI accuracy. BCI is the abbreviation for Brain Computer Interface. It is a direct communication pathway between the brain and an external device. BCIs are intended to enable people with significant mo movement impairments to communicate and to control technology without physical movement. The P300 wave is an event related potential elicited by infrequent task relevant stimuli. When recorded by EEG, it surfaced as a positive deflection in voltage with a latency of roughly 300 milliseconds. We use a matrix spatter, which consists of 36 cells showing letters and some commands, such as space, during the experiment. So, and target locations means the position of the letters in the matrix spatter. The subjects could select the letters for the contents they need to type into the computer. This is a picture showing the experiment setup. So during the experiment, a subject was sitting in a chair and wearing an electrode cap and watching the matrix spatter showing on the computer screen. I used two methods to analyze the accuracy. The first one, I divide the 36 cells into six groups, which were represented by numbers here. Since each group is differently distanced from the center of the matrix, this method could help us to figure out whether the target distance to the center affects the accuracy or not. The second method, I divide the 36 cells into three layers, which were represented by colors here. This method were also used to see if there were relations between accuracy and target locations. Target frequency. The figure on the right of the screen shows how many times each cell in the matrix should be selected during all experiments that we have. Since some of the cells only have been selected once or very few times, their accuracy cannot be reflect the effects alone. Well, these two figures shows the times that targets should be selected after I combine them by the two methods I mentioned before. Figure on the left is combined by groups and represented by six different colors, and the figure on the right is combined by layers and represented by three different colors. Results. The result of the first method, accuracy versus target locations to the center, was calculated by MATLAB. I used a color bar ranged from 0.5 to 1 to display the accuracy by colors. Finally, the six different accuracy here range only from 0.83 to 0.88. Also, for the second method, accuracy versus layers. I used the same color bar range from 0.5 to 1. And the difference between these three layers were too small to tell. Although maybe the middle one, the middle layer, has the highest accuracy. Do target locations really affect the P300 based BCI accuracy? The result above did not show any big difference among groups or layers, and it seems that target locations do not affect the accuracy at all. But since the statistical analysis has not been performed to prove whether the difference is significant or not, and also not all data we have has been processed, so we cannot give out the final conclusion. For future, if the target locations do not affect the accuracy, we can see that 
the matrix spell we are using now is well designed. And if they do affect, we could put items which are more frequently used at positions with higher accuracy, such as we can put commands like backspace or space at the highest accuracy precision. So finally, I want thanks to all people in DBI project and the show program. Thank you.